Hey folks, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to go about uninstalling and reinstalling all of your NVIDIA software. Well, this video is to help you out. I'm going to show you step by step the process of the uninstall and the install. There will be a few cutouts in this video because the process does require actual reboots. Uh, for my own system's purposes, I'm not going to complete the uninstalls and reinstalls. But I am going to show you where to go and how to do it. Alright, so first things first, if you start going into your NVIDIA control panel, you know, seeing if you can find it there, don't. That's not where you go. What you first need to do is go into your Windows Program Manager or Apps Manager. So add and remove programs. The steps will be the same regardless of your version of Windows. All right, so in here, you're going to actually search for NVIDIA. And you're gonna find a series of drivers and software that you have to uninstall. What you will wanna do is for every single one of these, click on these three little dots here and select uninstall. Now, you won't necessarily have everything I have installed, but you should have your control panel, your drivers, uh, it's gonna be your audio, graphics, physics, etc., as well as the GeForce experience. Once that's done, you're gonna have a clean system without any NVIDIA. It'll probably require about three or four reboots. So be prepared and it's gonna take at least a half hour to complete the whole process start to finish. When that's done and you have everything uninstalled from NVIDIA, you're gonna to wanna to do two things. First, go into the Microsoft Store. And search for NVIDIA Control Panel. The reason why is Microsoft now requires NVIDIA to have this installed through their control panel. When you got it open, right here is going to be a install button. Click it, let it run through its process, and it should force another reboot. Uh, if it doesn't, it's okay. It'll let you know either way. After that's done, go to NVIDIA's website. And go to... Drivers. So this is for someone who is more advanced, knows specifically what their driver is. You can actually select a driver, find the proper download for it, and go ahead and install it. Now, if you don't know what graphics card or you just want to let NVIDIA handle it for you, there's the NVIDIA GeForce experience. So instead of going to the NVIDIA website, search for NVIDIA GeForce experience and that'll bring up this link for you go here and first thing on the page is download now you go ahead and download this and it'll download by default into your downloads folder and it'll just be right just sort it by date modified and it'll be right at the top. Run it and install it. After it's installed, you can open it up. Go to the driver section and it'll prompt you with what driver to install. You want to install the GeForce Game Ready driver. Um, the only time that might not be an option is if you have a graphics card that's not meant for games, but for uh, you know like business usage. In which case, it would be the Studio driver. But generally, you're going to be the Game Ready. And once all that's done, go ahead and start up your uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And the gray box that's been showing up from uh, NVIDIA Reflex should be gone. Happy gaming. 